So we've been building out our blog pages. We've been building out our site. Today, we're going to talk about variable modifiers, a built-in way in Expression Engine to make sure that the content on the page appears the way that you want it to. And we'll talk through a number of these and actually implement one when we build out our little snippet block. So with that said, let's build. So variable modifiers are a built-in way that Expression Engine helps you display the content that you've created in a way that's really friendly. And so the best place to start with this is to take a look at the documentation. Uh, we can see that variable modifiers not only can be used against all of the channel fields that we're creating, but also segments, embed variables, layout variables, template route variables, standard global variables, variables you define, and any add-on that uses the native template parsing. So it's pretty robust out of the box. And so we can see there are quite a few uh, modifiers that are available for you right out of the box, um, including censoring. So if you're using Expression Engine's, uh, you know, for lack of better terms, swear word censoring um, feature that you can just uh, automatically parse your data through that. You can uh, parse numbers as currency, so you can automatically display them that way, uh, nice and easy. Uh, we can, let, uh, let's take a look at replace, so you can automatically do a string replacement um, on a piece of content that you've created, which is nice, including using regex. So with that said, we're actually going to take a look at this attribute safe one. Great. So what this does is it makes your content safe for use in an HTML attribute. Um, so it'll take out all of your HTML tags, it'll encode special characters, and the feature we're going to use especially is the limiting here. So we can see on our site, remember we had this blog loop where we show our three most recent blogs. Great feature, but right now this content is all uh, just dummy filler text. So let's actually take a look at our template here. And right now we just have blog content uh, that's in our entry. So if we go here, let's find our lorem ipsum right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this. Uh, yeah, let's copy this p tag here and wrap, wrap this, this up. up. I'm, I'm just, just going, going to, to change my, there we go. I'm just going to comment that out for right now because uh, we'll get a word count and all that kind of stuff. So, but if I just change this, to blog content and refresh right now in our loop that makes these uh, very, very unreadable. And these are short blogs too. So anything longer than, I don't know, 20 words is going to look awful. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the attribute safe um, variable modifier here. So I'm going to grab this here. And when I apply it just by itself, you're going to see it's not going to do a whole lot. Yep, nothing fancy. But we're actually going to use this limiting here. So number of characters to limit to. So let's take a look back at our template. And let's say we've got how many characters here? Uh, 155. So let's do... limit equals let's say 150 and then let's take a look back at our blog refresh and there we go and the nice thing about the attribute safe uh, limiting is that it won't break up your words so even if you do 150 and 150 lands in the middle of of hamster right here, um, you won't say your mother was a ham. <laughs> so it automatically does that. It automatically adds the ellipsis at the end, a nice, easy way to apply uh, these variable modifiers. So you'll probably end up using these in a number of different ways. Um, you know, URL decoding and encoding, using the slug, using spell out, you know, a way to uh, uh, capitalize words and, you know, change things for locales very, very robust system that I encourage you to take a really deep dive into. So with that said, we'll see you in the next one.